What's up, doghouse? Uh, welcome back to Way of the Hunter, episode two. And I gotta tell you, um, I'm loving this game. I am absolutely loving this game. So, I I've been doing the missions, and I've been getting some hunting in, in the process. If I come up here, we can go to character... So one of the interesting things is uh, you don't have to allocate, like physically allocate points to get perks like you do in Call of the Wild. You automatically start earning these things as you do stuff, which is super, super cool. And each one has different things that it does. So like this bolt action, for example, hold breath length increased by 25%. All we have to do is hit heart, either lung, artery 10 times with a bolt action while holding our breath. And I've, I've got six times on that already. So we've almost got that one, which is cool. Uh, if we go to our inventory, you can see that I picked up a couple things. I, I don't need this. Um, it, so we have to call in animals. I, I screwed up. I should have gotten the deer one, but whatever. Uh, but I got a shotgun now. <laughs> and I've got a the high-powered bolt action. This is for deers. This is for pheasant. Um, so I was going after pheasant, so I have that, and I've kept that. I've also upgraded the binos to the better of the two binos that you can get. And if we come over here to Hunting Lodge, you can see all the animals. I've gotten 12. Um, four badgers, a gray wolf, two muleys, and what's that? Five pheasant? Nice. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with this. Um, this is really cool. Oh, look at that. First harvest. Oh, look at that. It gives you the first harvest for each one that's the first one. Nice. I didn't even notice that before. Uh, so, you know, I mean, that's cool, right? I think it is. So I've been doing these. And it, just off camera to see if I even want to continue playing the game. And I do. Uh, as of right now, this is going to replace Call of the Wild. Hands down, it's going to replace Call of the Wild. <laughs> Uh, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This game is just, to me, and for my play style, this game is just better. Um, the graphics, honestly, they're, they're about the same um, in terms of how things look. But I just like the way this the mechanics of this game work. I, I like it better. And that, that's really all I can say on it, is I just like the mechanics better. So, if we go to our map, you can see this is the next area that we have to go to. Um, didn't I already do that? Oh, okay. Reach the meadows where Hollywood can be found. Uh, so, Hollywood is the name given to a deer that was the apparently the son of of the deer that's already in the lodge that grandpa shot. Oh, and that reminds me. The stories in this, like there's a cut scene where you get an actual like animated story. And that is so cool. I love it. It if it, it gives you a little break where you can sit back, relax and just enjoy the story. Um I, I absolutely, positively love that. It's a great feature. But uh, out here, I've noticed out here in the meadows, this is where pheasants generally tend to uh, live. I don't know if it's meadows, but you can call it grassland, whatever. I get a lot of quail out in here. And it, apparently it doesn't matter if you shoot them on the ground or in the air. But if you want to get the perks, you have to shoot them in the air. So, yeah, there you go. But anyways, we're, we're heading through that valley, apparently, to try to find Hollywood. So we can smoke them. 
Is that a fox or a pheasant? I don't know. It was a pheasant. Oh, there he is. Mature female. And that one is a male. And it's cool because the males are the only ones that give you a trophy. Or a trophy rating. So that's kind of cool. And we passed right by those guys and they didn't even spook. Which is weird, but whatever. Continuing on with the mission. Oh, one of the things I wanted to mention about this is that the blood trails are way more realistic uh, than in Call of the Wild as well. Which is something that I appreciate. It really makes you work on tracking animals that you don't down right away. So if the animal bolts, yeah, you're you're gonna have a fun time tracking. Uh, now Zaggy DK did find a uh, a workaround for that. Um, take it or leave it. Um, I'm not gonna mention it here because I'm not into that kind of stuff. But um, he found a workaround. If you guys want to use it, you can check out his videos. He's got some really good tips. He always does. <laughs> he is, he's, Zaggy is just chock full of tips, man. I gotta hand it to him. It doesn't matter what game he plays, he always seems to find ways of making life easier when you play it. Usually. Well, we got ourselves a bunch of females. I don't see Hollywood anywhere in this mix. Like, they're all female. Where's my boy? That one's gonna get in the way, ain't it? I think it just went down. Maybe. I don't know. I don't even think that's an option. Ah, oh, there she is. Found her. Let's check that cam out. What did we get? So we entered there. We got into the left lung. Ooh. Then we got into the liver, and it stopped in the liver. Neat. Okay. Um, no trophy rating, but we knew we weren't going to get one. It was just, just, just for money. Now I know they drink here. I can return the other time. <laughs> All right, well, it says return to lodge, so that's what we're going to do. Look for paths, which will lead you to dynamic signs and blah, blah, blah. We're already here. What do we got to do? Oh, all right. Sleep until sunrise or wake up between six and nine. Okay. Where's my Where's my mouse? There we go. Let's go there. New mission added! Hollywood! Reach Hollywood's territory. Right, well, we kind of already know where Hollywood's territory is at. I'm going to head back up over that way again. That's a 
Hollywood. All right, well, we know Hollywood's out here. I don't know if he's gonna come back or if we spooked him. I'm not seeing any other deer. Which is upsetting. Ah, oh, there's Hollywood right there. We're gonna mark that spot. He's at 130 meters. Can we get a little bit higher in elevation? Here we go. That's our boy. That's our boy right there. I'm going to remark that spot. So, this round is going to go a little high. Shit. Shit. Damn it, got him in the leg. Small amount of blood. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that's not a good sign. Ah, he's right back in there. I don't got a clear shot on him. Hollywood. Surely that hit, right? He's there. And he's down, thank God. All right, here's Hollywood. You know, I think we're gonna go into, um, not that. We go here, we go photo mode. How did I move the camera again? That moves like that. Aha, there we go. Can we get a trophy shot? Oh shit! Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Look at that. We can actually get ourselves a trophy shot. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just screwing around here, guys. I'm just screwing around. Oh, field of view angle. Nice, so we can do something like that. Oh, wow. That's weird. Hey, you know, I mean, whatever. I'll take another screenshot like this. Boom! And there is our, uh... <laughs> that's gonna be our, uh... Our, uh, you know, you know, the thing. The thing. <laughs> right. So shot one. What happened with shot one? Oh my gosh. Shot one did hit the lung, the very top of the lung. Ah, oh, that first shot just barely grazed the lung. Flesh, bone, shot two. We just got flesh. Barely clipped him in the knee. Didn't hit any vitals going through the frickin' stomach area. 
Shot three, we got him good, though. <laughs> Shot three, we got flesh, left lung, and right lung. Well, at least that put him down pretty good. That put him down pretty good. And we got this. Yeah, our hunt rating sucked because I shot him too many times, I think. Tracking time, runaway distance, the weight. So yeah, our bullets took out 40, 40 kilograms of meat. But, uh, you know, we're not going to sell them anyways. We're going to taxidermize this guy. Here's the trophy score. Taxidermy. Return back to watch. All right. To save animals for taxidermy, you have to choose the taxidermy option while harvesting them. Sold animals are gone for good. You can exhibit them on stands in the lodge. So Grandpa wanted us to put his son next to the one that he smoked. So I guess we edit. And then we can add... Oh, there we go. I guess that's that's it. We don't get a choice on pose. Maybe not for that one. Oh, we can change the diorama. Oh. Oh, look at that. So with this one, we need a third mule deer. Same thing with that one. American black bear attacking a mule deer. Oh, wow. Black bear and moose. So they've got presets, which are kind of nice. I do like that. No active mission selected. We don't have any. What's what's that? What the hell is that then? <laughs> I think we're done. I think we got all the, uh, the stuff done. What is? I'm curious. What is that? I mean, we're already here. Oh. We gotta go back onto the computer. That's kinda cool, though. So we get some light on there. Check that out! Like father, like son. Two abnormal antler mule deers. I like the way these deer look better too. They look more realistic than in Call of the Wild. The animal models in Call of the Wild aren't bad, but these are better. <laughs> this is way better. Like look at that antler. It is so much better. Oh my god. I know you guys are probably sick and tired of me comparing this to Call of the Wild, but I'm going to a lot. Because those are the big two hunting games out there right now. It's Call of the Wild and Way of the Hunter. And as far as I'm concerned, Way of the Hunter is hands down better. Um, oh, we've got another order. Dear Mr. Willow, that was a quick catch you sent us the last time. The liver of one of those ducks was so big it qualified as fine meat for foie gras. It's a delicacy my grandmother made when I was a little kid and I had no idea how it was made. I remember how terrified I was when I saw the process of gavage. My granny was force feeding her poor geese so that she could fatten up their livers. After that foie gras never tasted the same. Until your last package. Did a little bit of research and it looks like this time of year is ideal for duck livers in your area. The ducks have access to so many seeds that they gorge themselves and develop a fatty liver all on their own. Now I know it's extremely rare, but I'd be beyond grateful if you managed to catch more of those, these lovely fat ducks. Thank you in advance, Franz Duxbury, Duck and Dine Manager. So I can accept this mission. Yay! Um, I need a duck collar though, or I should get a duck collar. 
Maybe I have enough minute, enough money for a duck collar. Um, that would be gear. We got here moose, goose, duck. Oh, duck's only 450. Yeah, I'll buy that. So hopefully that'll help bring ducks into us, which is what we want. Out frickin' standing. So we have $1,200. Can we get anything cool? A Stinger 22. Semi-automatic hunting tier is two. We could probably get duck with two. I don't know. I don't know if I need to get a 22. I mean, I've already got a shotgun. So I've got this one. Hunting tier one. That's probably fine. So, I can't buy any more rifles or shotguns. We already know we can't get any more... Well, I could get more gear. I could get a hog collar, a moose collar. I can get all sorts of collars. Like the deer grunt collar. That's 750 though. Yeesh. Um, That's 4x20. I've already got... Two to seven. Nah, this one's worse. This one's worse. The one to save up for is this boy right here. That's the one to save up for. Boundaries. New. No. Okay. Well, Swamps we got what we wanted. Ranch, we're always about ducks. Right. Um, so we'll pick number eight. And we'll equip the duck collar. Right. Harvest three ducks, each weighing over 0.8 kilograms. Fair enough. That's what I will do the next time uh, that we come into this. Did we get any perks yet? No. We're close, though. We're really, really close. Really close. Yeah, we haven't unlocked anything yet. This will be a good one to get. Travel 15 kilometers in upright stance. Travel 30 kilometers in upright stance. 5 kilometers crouched. Ooh. Ooh. That's going to be brutal. 10 kilometers crouched, 15 kilometers crouched, 3 prone, 5 prone, 7 prone. Sell 15 big game animals, which did not pick up the player scent. Complete Idaho collectibles. I don't know what the collectibles are. Interact with 15 unique animal signs. We're almost, we almost got that, we only need two more. And 30, display 50 animals in the lodge. Um, yeah, I, you know, I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. I do apologize. Uh, what is the weather forecast coming up? Um, well, it's raining for two hours. I'll probably sleep until the next day. Yeah. Well... Do I want to sleep until the next day? Can I just click it? No. Alright. I'm going to start my duck hunt tomorrow, I think. And uh, we're going to call it a video for now. So if you like the video, hit that like button. If I earned it, hit that subscribe button. And as always, be safe, be cool, have fun. We'll catch you in the next one. And of course, it's still raining. <laughs> Alright guys, y'all take it easy now.